Good day, students. You are welcome to today's class. And I will be your biology teacher. The topic is Extraring Habitat Under Aquatic Habitat. Aquatic habitat has three major types, namely marine habitat, estuarine habitat, and freshwater habitat. We have earlier discussed marine habitat. Now we will be looking at estuarine habitat. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to 1. State the characteristics of estuarine habitat. 2. List the types of estuarine. 3. Explain the distribution of the plants and animals in estuarine habitat and describe the adaptive features of plants and animals in estuarine habitat. Before we proceed, I would like the students to explain what you understand by aquatic habitat. Then, what are the characteristics of marine habitat? Thank you. Now, characteristics of estuarine habitat. An estuarine habitat is ecological zone where river and sea water meet. A point where river water, which is fresh water, and sea water, which is salt water, meet. This try to explain or establish brackish conditions. Brackish water has a salinity which fluctuates with the tides and the season. That is the wet and dry season. It is neither salt water nor fresh water, but the intermediary between both, which means it occurs where fresh water interacts with salt water. So when we're looking at the estuarine habitat, we can say is a mixture or is a place or a junction where sea water meets with fresh water, salt water meets with fresh water habitat. Now let's look at the characteristics of estuarine habitat. Some characteristics of estuarine habitat include 1. It has a fluctuating salinity. Because the salinity of the estuarine depends on the tidal action and the sea and the season of the of the day. Two, it has poor aerated substratum or saturated soil that lack oxygen. Three, there is mild wave action. The action that occurs there, the wave action that occurs there is mild. Four, there is high and low tidal influence. Five, soil erosion is prominent to estuarine habitat. Lastly, which is number six, it is exposed and prone to flood periodically. It is prone to flood periodically once a while. Now let us evaluate ourselves a little on what we have discussed so far. Students, define estuarine habitat. Tell us what estuarine habitat is. Two, I would like you to outline three characteristics of estuarine habitat at least three characteristics of estuarine habitats. Types of estuarine habitats. We have marshes, we have deltas, we have lagoons, we have bay, and we have swamp. So there are five types of estuarine habitats. Look at them one after the other. You have to look at them one after the other. Marshes. Marshes is a brackish water. It's usually found in intertidal areas, which are periodically flooded and drained by the tides. 
We shall continue from here after a break. Thank you. You are welcome back. Now let's look at number two, Delta. This is where a river divides into many channels before entering into ocean or sea. It is formed at the mouth of a river as it enters the sea. So when you have a small portion of water like river divide into many channels before entering into ocean or sea, we call it delta. Number three, lagoon. A body of ocean water that enters into the land through a canal, therefore has the opportunity of mixing with fresh water there is called lagoon. And you have a body of big water that has the opportunity to get into to mix with fresh water. Then we call it lagoon. Then the fourth one is bay. Bay is a small body of water which enters into land and mix up with the fresh water from rivers and streams. So we have a, a small body of water, like a, a small portion of the seawater that enter into land and mix with that fresh water there. We call it bay. Then the fifth one is swamp. A swamp is wet land. It's vegetation. When you are looking at it, we think that it is, it's a land habitat, but it's a wet land with vegetation found in temperate and tropical regions. So brackish water marsh is usually found along coastal areas or intertidal areas which are periodically flooded and drained by the tides. Now students, can you mention at least three types of estuary and explain? Mention at least three types of estuary and explain. Thank you. Now let's continue. Types of estuary based on salt mixing. Types of estuary based on salt mixing. There are three types. We have three. We have the following under this category: A. Salt wedged estuary. B. Vertically homogeneous estuary. C. Partially mixed estuary. Take a look at this diagram. This diagram illustrates the three main types of estuarine mixing. Tides, wind, wave motions, and river runoff all and river runoff all contribute to create various water conditions within estuaries. Salt wedge estuarine, such as the Mississippi Delta exist where the river current exceeds the tidal current. Then equal river and tidal current, such as those in the Chesapeake Bay, create a partially mixed estuary, which is the second mixing type. Then where the tidal range exceeds the freshwater inflow, as in the Bay of Fundy, mixing is more complete and a vertically homogeneous estuary is created. So when you have, the, it is what creates them depends on the tides, the wind, the wave motion, and the river runoff that occur among them. So we have those one based on the salt mixing available in the environment. Now let's look at the distribution of organisms in an estuary. We are going to look at plants. Under plants, we have red mangrove. We have red mangrove. We have um, rhizophora species, which is the main species of flowering plants in the lagoon. We are looking at the flowering plants in the lagoon. We talk about red mangrove and rhizophora species. Then the second one is white mangrove and avicennia species. Avicennia species. This one occurs in area of high salinity and dry land than the red plants. So we have a white mangrove in those areas that have high salinity. Avicennia species, they are common in that area. 
We shall continue after break. You are welcome back. Another example of plants found in a, a shrine is planting. Planting are microscopic plants. Planting protist, such as datum and flamentus agi. The farm plants are also found in the shrine. Examples of that farm, farm plant is acrostichumarium. So then can you pronounce that? Acrostichumarium. The only fern able to withstand salt water. That is the only fern plant that is able to withstand salt water. So they are found in the estuarine. They grow in these habitats. Then we also have numerous grasses like Paspalum, Paspalum special. Paspalum special. Now, let's look at the examples of animals that are found in estuarine. We have invertebrates, we have birds, and we have mammals. Examples of invertebrates, we have mating crab, starfish, arenicola, moth skipper, lancelet, barnacles. Those are the examples of invertebrates. These animals are commonly found in the estuarine or lagoon because they can withstand salinity variation. They include the bloody clam, common lagoon crab, hermit crab, the hairy mangrove crab, the fiddler crab, cichlid, the prawns, etmaloza, arins, and the grey mullets. All these are examples of the animals that are found in the uh, estuarine. Then another group of animals are birds. Examples of birds that can be found here include heron, waders, and palm nut vulture. Those are the birds that you can see at the estuarine. The mammals, we have mammals like bats and monkeys. Bats and monkeys. Now, let's look at the adaptations of estuarine organisms. That is adaptive features of estuarine organisms. White mangrove. White mangrove, they have breathing roots. White mangrove has breathing roots to permit intake of atmospheric air. And their leaves can extract salt. Their leaves can extract salt. Then the red mangrove has stilt roots to enable it to withstand strong ocean winds to enable it to withstand strong ocean winds then it's also to ensure development of the sydney and to avoid being swept off by ocean currents so these steep roots enable them to, to uh, enable them to withstand strong ocean winds to ensure development of the sydney and to avoid being swept off by ocean currents some seeds germinate on the parent plants. Those are the another adaptive feature. Some of the seeds germinate on the parent plant. Now let's look at the adaptive features of, features of animals. Crab, like crabs. Crabs have air breathing lungs like structures. Crab, they have air breathing lungs like structures for breathing. And we have starfish. Starfish have tube feet to hold fast to rock. Then barnacles and starfish, they have shell. They have shell-like covering, shell-like covering to protect them from drying up. For drying, for drying up. Now let's look at the. Let's evaluate ourselves before we round up. You can see. I want you to list some organisms of brackish water list some organisms of brackish water that is both plants and animals that are found in the brackish water or extraing water then i want you to write to each of the adaptation of plants and animals in extraing habitats now assignment for you 
write a short note on the types of extra with examples. Thank you.